What up, y'all? Welcome to Monster Nation. Best of the best of your squad, we take them. Boot camp. Have my sergeants train them to spit ether. This is Monster Nation. This is Monster Nation. What up, y'all? <clears throat> I'm your host, Mr. Monster Man Rocco. I'm the president, I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the tour guide, I'm the landlord, I'm the owner, tenant, the janitor, I mop the damn floor. What it look like. Um, last time I was here, I, in my last blog, I, I, I said to leave it in the comments if y'all wanted to hear the story about how Helter Skelter uh, got ourselves banned from Hot 97 in New York. I mean, I only said that as a formality. I knew that y'all, I knew that y'all was going to type in the comments that y'all wanted, cause, cause we as a culture, we nosy. You know what I'm saying? Like, we we nosy. Even me, and I'm an expert at minding my own business, but being that I'm blogging right now, it brings out all the nosy in me too. I can't even, I can't even get around it, right? But um, you know, some more y'all could have, uh, you know what I mean? Spread the word. Let some, let some more people know. Because truth be told, I don't really want to share these stories yet. I'm saving them for a bigger audience. So y'all have to like, subscribe, you know what I mean? Uh, share, uh, hit the, you know, the, the, the bell for notifications. Do all of the things that make a page pop, you know what I'm saying? And as the, you know, as, as the page grows, you know, as the platform grows, It'll be story time with Rocco every week. I give y'all a real, you know, real super duper dope story from that era. Because I'll be seeing your comment. You know, I, I, I say this to say that I, I'm speaking to the people who, I be, who I've been seeing in the comments requesting more of the stories from the past. <clears throat> help me help y'all. You understand what I'm saying? Spread the word. Let people know I'm over here. <clears throat> doing good work. You heard? So, all right. The story in question was Hot 97, how the Helter Skelter get ourselves banned from the radio, from the biggest radio station in New York. Okay, so we start out by saying this. Salute to Angie Martinez. Um, She had a birthday recently. Happy belated birthday. Um, we always had a very good vibe with Angie. I mean, and I, and I can't even say that we special for that because Angie was, you know, Angie was just dope like that. Angie, you know, she was, she knew how to get a good vibe out of everybody from what I understood. But, um, somebody thought that it was a good idea to send Helter Skelter to the radio station with no representation. Bosh. Um, somebody, I don't know who, Drew, I don't know Drew, I mean, I don't know who, I do know who, um, but yeah, we go there, help the skeleton rock and rock, rock this monster and Sean Price, we go to Hot 97, we find ourselves in the, uh, um, uh, the lobby, dealing with we as we, we approach the front desk, the desk downstairs, and there's a security dude. Security dude has a, the wild thick accent, right? I'm not good with my accent identification skills, but it was wild thick. It was Middle Eastern or something, I believe. I don't know. Like I said, don't give me the line, right? He was down there, and he was being a full... He was begging to get hands and feet put on him. You understand what I'm saying? Hand, hands, feet, bows, head butts, even my knee, you fight. He was, I mean, like, he was he was campaigning. You understand what I'm saying? For 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 all the pause, right? And like I I wasn't a very communicative person back then. Like, translation, I didn't really talk to niggas like that back then. Um, Ruck did. Ruck was always more of a people person than I was. So, you know, when we approached the situation, Ruck, you know, Ruck talks to the dude first. And, and dude, like I said, he's being a dickhead to Ruck, right? Um, so then I try. You know what I mean? I'm, I know, I, you know, I got managed. I know how to try to 
mellow out a situation. I try to mellow out the situation, try to talk to the asshole of me too. Pause. Ooh, that was disgusting. I should have never said that, right? But anyway, Ruck tries again, and as Ruck tries again, like Ruck is now he's a little, he's he's more aggressive, if I remember correctly. Ruck is, you know, he's he's the the the, the rage is starting to bubble up. I see this happening, and I say to myself, hmm, how can I? How can I help the situation? I call the audible. I put Ruck on complete. I'm like, yo, I'm like, yo, Ruck, chill. I'm like, yo, I don't remember my exact words to him. This is 20 something years ago. This is in the 1900s. You understand what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, chill. I got this. No. I said, chill. I'm going to go upstairs and get Angie or something like that. Right? So. You know, it's only one security. It's it's, it's two. It's two help the skelter, right? So he can only if we if if Ruck stay there, he can't. You know, he he can't stop me now. You understand what I'm saying? Like Ruck has him occupied. I go. I get on the elevator, go upstairs. It feels like by the time when I get up there, it seems like they already got the word that there's a problem going on downstairs, and it's always and we're already late at this point too, right? All I know is when I got upstairs, Angie had this look on her face, and I I ain't like it. I ain't like it at all. I ain't like it. And who, who, Angie, who was always wild well warm to me, you know what I'm saying? So it was always it's a beautiful thing, right? But not this day. I, I I maybe she had to had heard what went on downstairs, and to be perfectly, if if I'm if I'm if my common sense is common sensing right now. She heard what I hadn't even heard yet. She heard, she had probably heard what happened after me and Ruck split up. You know, he was down there and I came upstairs. Pause. Understand what I'm saying? Now, what had happened downstairs while I was upstairs was, I shouldn't have left Ruck down there by herself. Well, maybe I should, nah. So Ruck, make a long story short, Ruck punched the security guard's phone. Like, instead of punching his face, he Hulk smashed his phone on some splat, broke that shit. And I don't, I'm not sure. Like I said, I was on the elevator on the way upstairs. I don't know what the man said to Ruck to get him to do that. All I know is that. And we was done so. Um also salute to my brothers, um Evil D and Mr. Walk. I hate to um you know hate to be bringing up old shit. But there was a time in boot camp's history where things were starting to change. You know, it was a lot of transformation happening. And I hope my brothers forgive me for saying this and all of that, but around the time when, when Helter Skelter was coming up, nah, that's a whole nother story. That's a whole nother story. That's a whole nother story. So yeah, 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 Angie Martinez, uh, she, 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 she was very disappointed in us, and I'm sure all of, um, all of her higher ups were, uh, were, were, were wild disappointed in us too, and we was done though. They, 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 they clipped us for that. You know what I mean? Um, in, in all reality, look, there was, there was a part, and, and I can't say they clipped the whole boot camp, right? They clipped Help the Skelter, and they might have just tried to clip Ruck, right? Because there was an event. That happened shortly after that, maybe a month or two after that, maybe maybe not even a month after that. It was this event that they used to have, it was called Hot Night Backstage, where it was an exclusive. It wasn't just, it was at the tunnel. You couldn't just go there, pay your money. You could, like, you had to be, you know, you had, it was, I think it was invite only. And, like, we don't, like, they only gave boot camp, like, six passes, right? And, 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 um, and Ruck definitely couldn't be there. That was like they they hold like nah not that guy, and mind you boot camp the, the main boot camp members it was eight of us it was the great eight helped to scale the OGC Buckshot Smith and Wesson, 
You understand what I'm saying? It was eight of us off the rip. Then you talking about a uh, uh, Drew High and, and, and maybe a Shucky Ducky. Uh, you know, it, who was with us? It was DJ Logic. You know what I mean? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, it could have been crazy. You know, six passes. That's all you get. And it was it was Smith and Wesson, Buckshot, me, Drew High, and Buckshot's brother, Thor Smell. Rest in peace. Right? It was just us in there. And we ran into a problem in there. If y'all want to hear that story, then tune on in for the next one. And sh <clears throat> besides tuning in, put a... Uh, Put four thumbs up in the in the in the um in the comments. Yeah. If y'all wanna hear that. Four thumbs up. I was trying to think of something more more creative to give y'all to put in there. Something that something that, that that ties in with the story and all of that, but whatever. I'm out. Rock going, rock going. If y'all wanna hear about that other story, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. This is it's another dude's. We're gonna work y'all into story time. Black on black. We're gonna work y'all in the story story time. I, I I tell you, but like, subscribe, comment, share, you know, uh, uh hit the bell for notifications. Do all of the shits that make a page pop. Like, y'all know this stuff better than me. You know what I mean? Help you provide. Help me help you help hip hop. Rock on, rock gone.